Llama 3 is finally here. So Meta has just released two new models today, an 8 billion parameter model, as well as a 70 billion parameter model. And both of these models are leading within their category. But the one thing that is really exciting about the announcement today is not even just the models that they announced, but the announcement about the model that they currently have training. Right now, they have a 400 billion parameter model that is looking to potentially exceed both Opus and GPT-4 in their current forms. They have a checkpoint within the training process for this new model, and it's already showing an MMLU that's just shy of both Opus and GPT-4. And mind you, this is still training, so it's going to be really interesting to see once this actually gets released and is open source, what this will mean in terms of implications. So just to get into it a little bit, one of the key takeaways is now 8 billion parameter model is almost on par with the 70B parameter model that was released with Llama 2. So it's not quite at 70B, but for the scale, it is awfully close. It is within the range, within striking distance of something like Llama 70B. So very exciting. Llama 3 exceeds both Gemini and Claude 3 Sonnet across a number of different benchmarks. And the thing that's impressive with this is a lot of people find that Claude 3 Sonnet really is on the scale of GPT-4. So one thing to know with these models is they're not a mixture of expert models. So in terms of the inference speed, at least on the higher end for like the 70B parameter model, it's not going to be as fast as something like a mixture model or something like that. But in terms of some of the details, these models are trained on 15 trillion tokens of context, which is just astronomical. The knowledge cutoff for the smaller model is March 2023, and then the larger model is December 2023. Now, one thing I have to point out off the bat is both of these models only have 8,000 tokens of context that you can pass in, which really isn't a lot in today's climate. When you have Google Gemini going as high as a million, and you have Claude, I think, going as high as 200,000, GPT-4, 128K, 8,000 really isn't that much, especially in applications where you might have a longer system message. And this is a big constraint considering if you're trying to build a reg application with a system message, you're really sort of bound to the smaller window, at least for now. Now, with that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if we see that context length being extended with new variations of the model from the open source community over the coming weeks. But I did see this on Hacker News, which is an interesting comparison when you do compare these models to something like GPT-4. Obviously, they're not quite there. They're really best in class in terms of open source models. But the thing that's really interesting is this 400 billion parameter model that's coming out. We're going to have this 400 billion parameter model that is going to meet or exceed GPT-4. So they have the checkpoint that they mentioned, like I already talked about, but we see on the MMLU score, it's already at 86 on the instruct model. When you compare that to GPT-4, it is 86.4. By the time this is done training, I would very well expect that this would exceed GPT-4. So what are the implications of this? This is going to be really interesting to see. We're going to have a number of different providers being able to provide these open source models from the hyperscalers. What I'm really excited about is to see all of these different models on Grok. So Grok, if you're not familiar, they have the fastest LPUs, and I'm going to be really interested to see how fast they can make the inference across all of these different models. If you want to try this out, you have a couple different options with a ton more likely coming out. You can head on over to llama3.replicate.dev. They have both the 70 billion parameter as well as the 8 billion parameter model that you can try out. So I'll just demonstrate it here. If you want to try out the 70 billion parameter model, I'll just show you what it looks like here. So you have this sort of chat GPT like interface here that you can play around with. And then similarly, if you want to run the 8 billion parameter model, you can just go ahead and run it just like that. So another option is Together AI where you can go ahead, log in, make an account, and you'll be able to play around with it within their playground. So another thing to note with the model, they are using the OpenAI tokenizer for this. There is a larger vocabulary and they've also trained it on more code during pre-training. So in terms of some of the other pieces here, it will be available on AWS, Google Cloud, Hugging Face, and a ton of other platforms, Azure, Snowflake, etc. Now, the one thing that's interesting, I went looking for their research paper and they mentioned that it isn't going to actually be coming out until they're done training Llama 3, which is that big GPT-4 level model. I'd encourage you to check out some of the Twitter threads out there. There's a ton of information out there of people just diving into this right now. Another impressive chart that they highlight within the blog post is how it stacks up to a number of different popular models. If we compare it to Sonnet, Mistral, or GPT 3.5, we see that Llama 370B wins across the board across these models. It's pretty exciting where they're at already. It's even more exciting where we're going to soon be with this new open source 400 billion parameter model. But I think for a lot of people and a lot of use cases, this new Llama 370B variant, as well as the 8 billion parameter model, are going to be incredibly valuable 
it was pretty exciting that now we have these open source models that are really catching up to these closed source proprietary models. It was less than a couple months ago that we had Claude 3 come out and now we already have these open source models that are exceeding their middle tier model, which is pretty exciting. Exciting stuff to come from Meta for giving this to all of us, everyone within the open source community, as well as all of the different developers. I'm excited to see what this will look like over the coming weeks and months. And last, I just wanted to show you that Olama now has support for the Llama 3 model. So if you head over to Llama.com, download it if you haven't already, go over to Models, click Llama 3, and then you'll be able to just copy that command here. If it's the first time that you're running it, paste it within your terminal and it will install. You can just run it. So if I say, hello world, write me a story. You'll see that it just takes a moment to boot up and then it will start to respond for you. So there you go. You have Llama running locally. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And otherwise, until the next one.